Okay, this is our Soder body scanner. Uh, we started operation with it on July the 11th of this year. So we've got a few months under our belt at this time. We're getting a little bit more acclimated with it. What ends up happening is when an inmate comes into the facility, we'll bring them in, they'll be accepted, we'll ask them specific questions, medical related issues, anything that would prohibit an individual to, be going, to go through the scanner. We'll bring them back here to a dressing room and dress them out in appropriate searches. Okay? Once that is accomplished and they're dressed out into our inmate uniform, we'll bring them in and we'll place them on the scanner. Um, what we'll have the inmate do is come up here and they will step up onto the scanner as such, looking up. Okay, we'll advise them to stay still, okay, and we'll initiate the scan. And the way it works is, is the generator the power box is down here and it emits a, a low dose x-ray. It goes through the machine into the receiver back there. This pedestal goes through, it takes approximately eight seconds for the inmate to go through that scan. And as their body's passing through there, the scan is created and scans done and over with. At that point in time, once they step off the machine, we'll take, escort them back around and then we'll review the scan for any anomalies. Head up, stand still, I'm starting the scan. As you can see, the red lights indicate that an x-ray or a scan is in progress. It is also indicated here on our screen as well. In the event that there would be some type of an emergency, the machine would stop, there was something to go wrong, we've got an emergency kill switch that we can hit and stop it immediately.